Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you about the difference between a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and triple crochet. Now to start off, I'm just going to make a slip knot here, and then I'm going to chain 20. Now why I'm going to chain 20 is because I want to do five single crochets, five half double crochets, five double crochets, and then five triple crochets. So I want to see, want you to see how those look like all in a row next to each other. And when I say that I'm going to chain 20, I'm actually going to chain 21 because that last one you don't work into, that's used as your turning stitch. So again, the one that's closest to your hook, you do not work into, it will be used as the turning stitch. So there, I have 20 right there on my chain there, 20 stitches. And so now I'm going to chain one more. And then I'm going to work my five single crochets now. So you see I skipped that first stitch that's closest to the hook. And so now I'm going to work five single crochets in those first five chain stitches. See now there I've got five. So one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to work five half double crochets in the next five chain stitches. So, so there's a little bit, the half double crochet is going to be a little bit taller of a stitch than the single crochet is. And you'll see right here the difference. The single crochet right there is just a little bit smaller and the half double crochet is just a little bit taller there. Now I'm going to make five double crochets in the next five chain stitches. Now you'll see these five double crochets are again just a little bit taller than the five half double crochets. And if you want to learn how to do all of these stitches, I have individual videos for each stitch. So I have an individual video on how to do the single crochet, the half double crochet, the double crochet, and the triple crochet. And I also have a video on five ways to do the slip knot. So see here how the double crochet is just a little bit taller than the half double, but it's about twice as tall as the single. Now here I'm starting with my triple crochet. And so the triple crochet is actually quite a bit taller than the double crochet because you're really you're yarning over three times and pulling through. So that makes it quite a bit taller. Now a couple of things to notice on here is that the single crochet is a bit tighter of a stitch. So one thing it's going to do is it's going to hold its shape better. The smaller, the smaller shape will hold better. And when you make rows of the single crochet, you won't be able to see through it as well as you can see through the half double, the double, or the triple. The triple you're really going to see through. So there's the half double, there's the double, and there's the triple. Now, again, with a single crochet, I really like using that when I don't want to see through something or when I want something to really hold its shape. Now, the half double crochet, so the next set here, I really like using that when I know that I still don't want to see through it, not as well, but I want a little bit more height so it doesn't feel like I'm doing a hundred rounds of just single crochets and getting nowhere. So it gives you a little bit more height so you can do a few more or a few less rounds. And then the double crochet you can see through a little bit more. So if I was going to make an outfit, I would probably make it with mostly half double crochets or single crochets. And then maybe if there's a skirt or something I wanted to part of it to be see-through, I would do it with the double crochet. And the double crochet and triple crochet aren't going to really hold their shape as well as what the um, single crochet or the half double will. And 
Then the, the triple crochet, you can really, really see through that. So if you have a long part of your skirt that you kind of want to see through, that's a great stitch to use there for that. But here, this just gives you an example of what the different crochet stitches look like. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, Wendy's Cookie Crochet Tutorial, and um, please push the like button. And um, if you have any ideas of anything else that you want to see, please tell me in the comments. Also, I'll leave my Amazon affiliate for the hooks that I'm using. They're super economically priced. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and happy crocheting.